Technology is a major component in our lives, and especially in the times we live in now, we need technology to help push us forward and make things easier for us. Apple has often been good about making technology that'll help large swaths of people, and a project they're working on right now is aiming to change the game via the Apple glasses. But what makes it so special, and does it really have the capacity to make things better? Allow us to break down everything you need to know about the Apple glasses. They're coming. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Number 7. Rumors and Baselines To start off, it needs to be said that the Apple glasses, also known as Apple Glass in some circles, have been rumored for a long time. So this isn't something that was just announced this year. But it has been getting more hype throughout 2020. The glasses are meant to be a companion of sorts to your iPhone, a VR slash AR tech setup that'll allow you to view information on your phone via your glass lenses. Think of it like a holographic user interface that you can view as you go about your way and such without having to constantly look at your phone for information, which in this day and age is something many would appreciate. Because people walking and looking at their phones is annoying when you walk into them because they're not paying attention. Apple Glass is expected to run on Starboard or perhaps Glass OS. The augmented reality framework shows up multiple times in code and text documents, meaning Apple is likely testing activation and application. But it could change depending on how well it works and whether a more custom OS is required. Number 6. Why is Apple focused on this? To some, it may seem odd that the Apple glasses are a major thing that Apple is working on. Mainly because while it may seem revolutionary, you would have to question just how revolutionary it is if they're able to get it work in a feasible way. Could this be something to take Apple to the next level of innovation? Potentially. In the case of the Apple Glass, it may not be the first of its kind, but it might be the first that is actually usable in everyday life. People want things to be simpler for them, and being able to potentially use your phone to get data and then reading them in a more natural way via the glasses could be a major game changer, especially if it's easy to access, control, and use without much effort on the wearer's part. Plus, the bar is set low because of the previous attempt at this kind of technology. Faster, better at what they're actually doing at the job. Number 5. Google Glass Many of you out there may remember that this kind of technology was hyped up years ago by another company, Google. They made Google Glass, an operating set of glasses that would do exactly what the Apple Glass is aiming to do. So, what happened to Google Glass? It failed. Hard. When it was first announced back in 2013, Google hailed it as the next big thing in technology, especially when they started to show off the various features that the Google Glass would have, including being able to display information from your phone do video recording through simple voice commands, and more. Throughout the process of developing Glass Enterprise Edition 2, we spent a lot of time listening. A truly revolutionary idea, at the time of the conception. But as more and more people started to understand what it was and wasn't, many people felt that it was not only a bad idea, it was an invasive one. Even if you take out the tech concerns of it working, being able to record people via the glasses is darn creepy. There were other concerns as well that made it not the most popular item ever upon launch. Sure enough, the sales of the device were so bad that Google Glass got cancelled, more or less. While they are available now, you're not seeing them everywhere like you do iPhones and such. So for Apple, the goal is to take what failed with Google Glass and to make sure they don't make the same mistakes with their Apple Glasses, something that they've been known to do in the past. That's not to say that this is a guaranteed success, but they do have a blueprint on what not to do. So, that helps. Number 4. Rival for Apple VR As is their way, Apple isn't just relying on the potential sales of the Apple Glass to push the company forward. They're going and making other devices too that could easily help shape the future in various ways, including the already confirmed and possibly also coming soon device that is Apple VR. Many companies who have their own VR headset are actually getting good sales right now, and you see commercials for them much more often. With Apple entering the VR mix, it could shake things up even more, as well as provide competition for those who are trying to take over the market. But the question here is that many rumors state that the Apple Glass could have VR capabilities as well. So 
isn't it odd that the Apple VR and the Apple Glass are essentially going to go up against one another? That's a bit tricky to answer, but in short, it's not as conflicting due to their current parameters, mainly because the glasses are just that. Glasses. They don't block your vision or have you focus on one thing. The Apple VR headset will, and it's designed to give you a focused VR experience, while the Apple Glass is aiming to do more AR and information reading than anything else. Plus, should the Apple VR not take off, they'll be able to use what they've learned in order to push the Apple Glass to be more successful, as well as gauge where the market is for the product. Another thing that Apple is good and doing and adjusting to. Number three, what will the glasses look like? There have been numerous rumors and reports about what the glasses could potentially look like. And as Apple has shown in the past, they like going for very sleek and unique forms of things to catch the eye of consumers so that they'll be inclined to buy their stuff. The prototype that is being used now is believed to have a plastic frame. It gets a LiDAR scanner on the right temple, but lacks any other camera, reportedly due to safety reasons. The final version of the glasses could come with some sort of camera in a different material frame, but obviously that's speculation at this point. Prototype evolution is underway until launch, and supposedly, many things can change. Which is very much how inventions like this work. You start with what you think you need, and then you keep going from there. The glasses would be charged in open position, placed upside down on a plastic stand. This charging stand could evolve in a new material as well with time. You might think that the look of the glasses aren't important, but they very much are. One of the reasons that Google Glass failed was because they looked ridiculous in all the ways that matter. It looked like a sci-fi person was trying to replicate something from a show, and that hurt public perception of it. But industry insiders are stating that Apple is taking the best route possible for this problem and are making the glasses sleek, among other things. Which is again, the Apple way in many aspects. Though a lot could change between now and then. Number two, the price. When you think of Apple products as a whole, you know that you're going to be getting a very high quality item, most of the time. But the other thing that you know to expect with Apple is that when it comes to price, the items are going to be expensive, which no doubt will apply to the Apple glasses. A current listing has it placed at $499, which obviously would be very expensive for many. But it's important to note that regardless of the function, it's going to be housing a lot in those frames. And thus the price is technically justified to make sure it covers costs. But again, since it's still in prototyping stage, it can't be confirmed that this will be the final price. It could easily fluctuate based on what happens before launch. Number one, the release date. Easily the true biggest question about the Apple glasses is, when are they coming out? The truth is that we don't know, and insiders and experts don't seem to know either because they are giving very different guesses. Early reports said that the device wouldn't be ready for launch until 2023, making it released after Apple VR. Similar reports curbed that and said that 2020, the same launch year as the VR and present, would be the launch year. But then some have said that it might launch in mid-2021. A bold guess, but knowing Apple, it's possible. But also knowing Apple, they won't release it until they're absolutely sure they have it ready for launch and that people will most likely love it because they're betting big on the Apple glasses and they don't want to lose. So, what do you think? What do you think of this look at the Apple glasses and what might come from them? Do you think that this product will be something that people will really get behind? Or, like the Google glasses, will they just fall by the wayside? When do you truly think they'll be coming out to the world? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you next time on the channel.